Welcome back to another video guys here with Muse Will and today I want to take a brief minute and kind of give my response to Kyle's open letter to the world uh, really addressing all of the problems with the one wheel GT and kind of give you guys my kind of uh, expressions on his message. So one of the first issues that he addresses is, you know, the one wheel GT arriving dead on arrival. Um, you know, people have been waiting months and months and months and, you know, he addressed that, hey, look, you know, we are aware of the issue. Uh, this is a real issue and we are definitely going to be uh, replacing uh, those one wheel GTs and, and getting those back out, you know, and, and fixing that issue for you as soon as possible. Just reach out to their support. So um, that, that, that takes a lot of gumption for a company to stand up and say, hey, we made a faulty product. But we're fixing it right and so that is very hopeful um, that they did that today uh, which was really nice and then they started getting into um, the footpad sensor issue and you know about the sensitivity of it and one of the points that Kyle made was that a lot of people actually complained that the original uh, sensor on the XR was not sensitive enough you know and so you know one of the requests was to make it more sensitive so it doesn't disengage while you're riding or whatever may have you so um, I think the sensitivity of the board is, you know, it's kind of subjective. For me, I would like it a little more sensitive, you know, for me. Um, but not so sensitive to where if, if, if there's a speck of dirt on it that it's still keeping the, the sensor active and of course causing it to ghost or to ride by itself. So um, I think that that, you know, that's a little scary. Um, and he mentioned that he doesn't recommend it, but you know, a workaround is simple stop, which is something that I had mentioned before. You know, they know that this issue is an issue. And I think the real fix to that is going to be to have a setting um, in the software or in the app um, that interacts with the firmware or whatever may have you to be able to, to choose how sensitive you want that sensor pad to be. You know, for me, I may want it more sensitive for when I'm doing maybe trick riding because one of my issues with my board right now is that it's not sensitive enough sometimes. I want my 4212 board to be sensitive and when I land on it, I want it to engage. So that is definitely a real issue where some people may want it more sensitive than others, but of course too sensitive where there's a speck of dust on it, right? It's causing it to stay active. So um, I think they are looking to dial that in. Um, as he mentioned, they are trying to shape it and they have some firmware updates coming out to really make um, the software and the board uh, behave and act differently. You know, and that's one of the reasons why I've been waiting to get my GT because I wanted all these kinks to be worked out. Because for example, if I learned this amazing trick on this board, and the board starts behaving slightly different, you know, on a very microscopic level, you know, that could be, that can make the difference for my trick landing. So, you know, I'm learning on a, on, on, on one software and then it changes and now it may behave a little bit different. So it's not like you can't ride your board at all, you know, so again, that, that was very hopeful. So now the other thing that he mentioned was about changing out the tire and modifications and other things like that. Um, he said that they welcome those things and it's okay, um, but they don't want us to be changing out like the internals of like the battery cells and things of that nature. And you know, for me, being a one wheel, you know, passionate rider, I'm not looking to even get into the, the, the cells and, and, and crack open the board to that level. You know, for me, I would just like to be able to take out the battery and put, maybe put in another replacement one wheel battery in it, the same exact one. Like, can they just sell me a battery and then I can replace that? But no, they don't want you opening that up. You know, it will basically uh, brick the board and they have that in place for security reasons. They don't want people's one wheels to get caught on fire, you know, and they don't want people to be modifying the board in a way that's, you know, not safe. So one of the main things that Kyle said, they, they have stopped or they have not been open about repairing is because they said or he said that they have specific tools that they use to create the one wheel and they use those same tools to test and repair your one wheel so you know now that brings that that draws a line right like well, why don't you just give those tools to the other distribution centers is it this one power tool that you guys have access to and it can't be made anywhere else on the earth or we're not asking for you guys to give it to us we're just asking for you to to share it amongst your own team and expand so i think that though there is a fear that future motion has and i think they will have to dig into their own pockets to make these distribution centers rather than having a centralized location for repairs on one wheels i think it's going to make them cause them to take about five steps backwards 
and you know they may not want to take five steps backwards to take 10 or 15 forward you know so he did mention that they are a pretty small company so you know that's a pretty big risk to take for a very small company and it could mean the end for one wheel if it means that we'll never have a one wheel in the future but we can repair the ones that we have right now is that the choice that i want i'm not really sure you know or do we want more better one wheels in the future and more futuristic and cooler models but no option to repair it so <laughs> it's almost like we're in this catch-22 right so um, I'm not really sure what's gonna happen, you know, only time is gonna tell, but I just wanted to kind of raise the topic and kind of talk about this, guys, and let you guys know from a business standpoint, but also as a consumer, you know, at the end of the day, you know, somebody's gonna be unhappy. Either it's gonna be the consumer or it's gonna be the business. I don't think it's as easy as one, two, three. Um, the more I watch that video and analyze it, um, you could definitely tell that Kyle is, he wants people to be happy with one wheel, but it's at the same time, they're in this, they're in a tough position. So I see it from the business standpoint too, uh, especially being a business owner myself. But I also love and ride one wheel. So like, I want to be able to flip my battery out when I go on a trip or something like that, you know, and take it out the box, you know, out the board, get on the plane, fly, get myself a new battery, pop it in there and ride, you know, when I'm out of the country. So that's like a dream that I've always had, but you know, they're not making that possible. And that's a bit frustrating, but at the same time, I see their side of it too. And they don't want to be responsible or they don't want a negative business, um, you know, perspective on them if people's one wheels are catching on fire due to a mod they put on there or something like that. So, you know, I, I see both sides and, you know, I'm really curious to hear what you guys, you know, have to say and what input you have. So go ahead and put in the comments what you guys think of that video, uh, what you guys think of the expressions that I made here, um, you know, and the big decision that one wheel possibly has that, you know, we, we don't know and then they're not disclosing. But um, yeah, so, well, anyway, uh, if you have not liked and subscribed, go ahead and do that already uh, because I have a lot of content, like I said, outlined for you guys. Uh, we've got some more YouTube series episode uh, series and episodes coming out for you guys too in the future. Um, so I've got some pretty big things in line for you guys. So I hope you guys are enjoying the content and uh, catch you guys on the next one. See you guys. Muse Wheel out. Thank you.